Welcome back to another Faceology video. My name is Sarah Hornsby and I am a myofunctional therapist. I'm here with my partner, Melissa Mugno, Mugno sorry about that, who is also a myofunctional therapist. And we are here to answer our patients' questions and we want to share more content, more content and put out more information for all of you guys today. So uh, we are talking about braces. And this honestly is Melissa's like area of expertise. She has spent so much time working with orthodontists and combining braces and myofunctional therapy. So Melissa, tell us today, why is that so important? Why is this combination so key? So, you know, a lot of people, you know, I've been lucky enough and worked with many people, dentists over the years and orthodontists. And the thing is, um, I almost want to go back to a quote, and I know a lot of people out there watching YouTube might not know about it, but you might want to look them up. Dr. Engel, Dr. Engel is what they call the, he's the father of orthodontics. And in 1907, I'm going to actually read the quote verbatim so we guys can hear it. He had made a quote and it's written in, and it says, we are just realizing how common and varied um, and vicious habits of the lips and tongue are how powerful and persistent they are in causing and maintaining malocclusion, how hopeless is success in treatment unless they're overcome, which he's saying, if you do not control the lips, cheeks, and tongue, the force of those, the chances of having stable malocclusion or a bite, okay, that's what occlusion is, is pretty low because teeth are not that smart. <laughs> Teeth uh -huh. actually move by force. So if you have a tongue who's pushing off lots of force or cheeks that are pushing force and nothing balancing it out, the chances of having long-term st uh, stabilization in a bite, meaning wearing your retainers and all those things decreases, I'm not saying it's not possible, but your chances of having a really long-term stable bite, keeping that big, beautiful, broad smile is going to be so much better if you take care or fix the initial functional habits that probably created or at least contributed it to the crowding in the first place. So it's not that one will make another one go away, but together they're just such a better pair because you actually end up controlling all of it and you don't have to constantly forget to wear your retainers one night and then all of a sudden they're so tight and they're moving your teeth back. So they really are one in the same. They, they support and help each other together. Yeah, and our goal, um, that's so great. I love that you have the quote there, but um, our goal as myofunctional therapists and when we're working with you through therapy, our goal is that you have your tongue in your palate, your lips are together, you're breathing through your nose and you're swallowing correctly. And the idea with that is that's just restoring the normal and optimal function that you should have. And so we're not really doing anything too crazy. We're just getting you to no. function the way you should. And as you learn to function optimally and the way nature intended, now you will have stable, long lasting orthodontic results. So it is such an important concept. It's not a mainstream concept. So you really have to find those doctors and dentists who are on the same page that they're going to be pairing your braces treatment with myofunctional therapy because the two really go hand in hand. Your results are so much better if you address the function of the muscles along with the structure of the teeth and jaws. So I think that's a great message for today, Melissa. I think we answered the question. Anything else you want to add? Maybe just one little tip to, add, to let people know is when you're going to see an orthodontist, maybe a question you want to add into your interview process is, how did my teeth end up crowded? How did they get here? And I know how you're going to fix them by getting them straight, but how are we going to keep it so that we don't end up back there again? So it's just another view and a way to look at it. So hopefully this video helps you, you know, educate you a little bit so that you walk in feeling a little more empowered to your orthodontic consultation. Thanks, Melissa. All right. If you like this video, like it, share it, subscribe to our channel. We'll be making more videos like this for you in the future. Leave a comment below or feel free to reach out to us if you want help with myofunctional therapy. Um, at Faceology, we've got a great team of myofunctional therapists. You can meet with me or Melissa and we'll um, evaluate all your symptoms. We'll talk to you about braces, myofunctional therapy, and so much more. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys later. Bye.